How does it feel? Oh, nice and cool. Is it really cool? Oh, yeah. It feels like air conditioning. <laughs> oh, my God. It was so hot out there. Okay, I know there are not many good reviews for the As Seen on TV Arctic Air, but this video is different. In this video, we have five devices. We are testing the Arctic Air with all this equipment. So, let's see what we find out. Oh, my God. It's so hot outside. And Leah wanted to do some yard work this morning, so she's going to be super hot, too. Lucky for her, I got some Arctic Air getting ready for her. And uh, let's set this up. Maybe we can cool her off when she comes in the house. I know from reading a lot of mixed reviews on this to have pretty low expectations. And I know that some of it involves chilling something in the freezer, using ice cubes. So basically I heard this is just basically just a fan is what I heard, so. All right, let's get the cord out. Get this out, get this out. Oh God, here comes Leanne. Are you okay? Is it hot out? It's hot. I got some arctic air for you. Okay, I need that. Leanne is hot and really grumpy. This better do the job. This better help. It feels cool. So as I said, we open this up and this comes out and you run that under cold water. Some people do that and then stick it in the freezer, I read. Leanne, try it now. Is it any better with the cold water? Yeah, it's, it's colder. Oh, a lot colder. Feels better. Feels better, Leanne says. Oh, it's nice. Oh, Especially nice. being out there in the hot weather. Now it says we're going to put water up in here, cold water up in here, Leanne. Oddly, it doesn't say how much cold water to put in there. I have a feeling this will make a big mess on your desk. Like, if you put this on a desk, where's this water going? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I think I got to lick all over my... Oh. Hit that button up there to change the light. Oh, now it's green. Blue. I guess it could be like a night light. It looks like purple. A blue freeze. We have a little wind gauge here. Let's see how fast this is. How see how fast this is. This is on high. And at high, we're getting six. We'll call this medium. Medium is about six. I'm surprised. I'm low. So low. Low is almost five. So should we say f five for low? So this is medium. Going back up to medium. Close to six on medium. Let's go high. Look at that. High is about seven, so it's not bad. You can see the speed test. Seven miles per hour is not too bad. But how loud is this? I got another tool. We can see how loud this is. Because it's not quiet on high. It seems like it's much cooler. It feels really nice. Wow, that's nice. Oh. How loud is it? Does that sound bother you, the sound? No, I just ignore it. I think you get used to the sound. I need to find my temperature gauge. Here. How would we test this? I got an idea. Hold on, Leanne. Let's check Leanne's forehead. What's the Leanne? Leanne's head is 93 degrees. 94 degrees. Oh boy. Let's see what happens here with the Arctic air. Hold on. Leanne, stick your forehead underneath there for a couple minutes. And then. Oh, it's nice. Let it get on your forehead. What was your temperature before, Leanne? I think 93. You're 89 right now. 89. <laughs> 90. <laughs> hey, Leanne's <laughs> forehead dropped a couple degrees cooler. It's yeah. nice. Alright, I don't know if I'd put this on my computer desk with all that water in there though. That'd be scary. I heard that some of these leak. So I wanted to know where that water was going. Can you see? It's a mist. It's coming down as a mist right there. Well, I just so happen to have a sound meter right here. So let's go see how loud this is. Alright, we will start off on low and I'm going to hold this against the box. So it's equal for everyone. Say 71, 72, about 70, 
decibels on low. Go to medium. Not much difference, except for when I'm talking. Woo! Let's say 73 for medium. Now let's go to high. I think it's safe to say 75 decibels. Let's we'll see what that compares to. I have had this in the freezer. Leanne just came back from outside. Leanne, you look hot. Let's try this again. Uh, this time we're taking it up a notch. Oh, look, it's talking. It's talking. I didn't talk. Got ice here. Okay, something else I found out where you pour the water. This actually comes off. Let me go pour some water down in here. Some cold water. This is two cups of water. Let's see how much water this holds. Oh, it easily holds two cups of water. Leanne. Grab some ice cubes. Ice cubes, Leanne. Okay, where am I gonna put them? Put them in with the water. Now let's see. Oh boy, let's put the lid back on. That ought to be cold. How are we gonna measure how cold this is? Look at that, that's coming out here. It's 80 degrees outside. Our house is probably 72. Leanne, oh, and did I show you that this does adjust up and down? Here's the final test, Leon. Are you ready? Let's see if this is some Arctic air. It is ready for you. Stick your, stick your head in there. How does it feel? Oh, nice and cool. Is it really cool? Oh yeah, it feels like air conditioning. Oh my God! I was so hot out there. Oh. Oh, oh this is really nice. So what do you think of this? I like it. I was, should we return it or keep it? I say keep it. This would be, oh, nice. I wasn't expecting this to go so good. I thought we'd just try it and then return it. But Leanne seems to like this. Put it on a table or something like that. Yeah, can you direct this up? Oh, this is, you could set it on your desk and you can direct this up like that, Leanne. Leanne, try that out. Oh, oh, that's nice. <laughs> it's shooting out 60 degree, 62 degree air, 63 degree air. Wow, that's super nice. 50, wow. It went down below 60, Leanne, below 60. I'm impressed. Holy cow. Oh, that does feel pretty good. I just want to stay here. Oh, that's nice. It was hot. <laughs> Leanne's out there doing yard work. He's out there with the weed whacker, Leanne. Oh, boy. I could use a sweater. It's getting cold in here. Yeah, I think Leanne's got goosebumps now. Get goosebumps. Look at that. Woo. Woo, look at that. Nice air conditioning. I didn't expect it to be to go like this, Leanne. I thought this was going to be just total garbage. And I was going to like, box it up, return it, return it. It's good. But by using the ice, it works. It does. I'm surprised. Guys, post below, what did you think? Is that too many steps to take to uh, put water with ice cubes in there? Is that one step too many? I don't know. You decide. I don't think it is. Yeah. Look how hot. Look, 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 look. Leanne's got... Leanne's got the goosebumps right there now. I don't know, you can't see it, but... It feels cold in here now. She feels cold in here now. Holy cow. This is my usual desktop fan. It plugs into USB port and it, um, it puts out air about five miles per hour. It's like, it takes up more room than this fan here. It's noisier. It takes up more room. It's noisier. But you decide, do you want the cooler air or quiet air? I can't believe it. If you're coming inside, Arctic air might be the way to go. I can't believe I'm saying that. I really can't. So now let's see how much power the Arctic air uses with the kilowatt. On low, this is my kilowatt. It is using three watts of power. 0.05 amps. Let's go to medium. Five watts. 0.7 amps. Let's go to high. We got it on high. How much power is this going to use? Nine watts of power. 0.13 amps. 
So the medium speed uses almost half as much power as the full speed. 10 watts isn't very much power though. I just got back from an hour walk with Miko. Really hot. You know what? This feels really good. It feels super good. It's super cool. Wow, that's kind of just what I needed right now. Can't believe I'm saying that. Well, since this thermometer is broken, the temperature is stuck at 70, I'm returning this night. We're going to use this. I got these off Amazon. They're pretty accurate. Let's start the test. Where do I go? You want me to go now or wait? Yeah, go ahead and go now. All right, so you've seen some of our test results. You're, you heard what Leanne had to say. I'm surprised the temperature didn't drop more, but I think it's like the uh, more humid air hitting you makes you feel cooler, and uh, and that's not bad. Uh, and honestly, when we, uh, we come back from taking Miko for a walk, that actually feels really good. Is it worth it? It's up to you. The biggest disadvantage, I think, is the price. That's a lot of money for um, a fan. And uh, I can get that, that uh, UPS desk fan, which is smaller, takes up less room. The link is right here in the description. Works really nice also. And I paid like about $10 for that. And it's about a third of the price of this. So if you decide, post all your comments below. I gotta hear what you think about this fan. Do you own it? What do you think? What was the problem? Do you own this? What was good? What was bad? Give me some comments. Give me your final thoughts. Thank you for watching.